There we go. Surprise! Slightly sooner than expected because James lost his signal. But luckily our timing was perfect. And apparently Saturday is indeed Catterday today. I just cringed a little bit as I said that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but isn't this a lovely surprise? I wonder how long these ladies have been here. There's actually two lionesses here. There's the female that's feeding off the buffalo. And then there's one lying with one very full belly. Now, I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you, they are right next to a road, right next to Impala Road. I don't think James and myself have driven this road today, so at least we're excused. We didn't miss them. We just had absolutely no idea they were here. My initial guess is that we're looking at the Inkuhuma females. I would say that's almost 100% likely. But you never know. Lion territories are fluid. So despite the fact that we're right smack bang in the sort of home range of the Nkuhumas, might be other lionesses. We'll just have to wait for a moment and see. And they've done well. Just two lionesses managed to bring down a relatively large sub-adult buffalo. And there is a plenty of meat left still. Actually, almost an, looks like an adult female, just a young adult female. So some interesting things happening while I was on leave with the Inkahumas. They seem to have... James described it as exploded. I'm not quite sure I would go that far. But they do seem to be incredibly scattered. And that was on its way to happening when I went on leave with the one denning in Torchwood the other looking incredibly pregnant, and we thought denning around Mvubu Road, Gauri Cutline on Juma. And we've got two out of five, for now, I think. We'll just have to wait for a little bit to confirm if it is them. And obviously they've taken advantage of the incredible wind that's been blowing over the last 24 hours. This is lion and leopard heaven weather. We might not enjoy it as human beings. Maybe we don't enjoy it because there's an instinct within us that tells us that this is good predator weather. Now, fortunately for this poor buffalo, it has not done it any favours.